Jason Lino here. This week's video is going to be a little story. Now I know last week I did say, oh I got some exciting news that I'm going to share with you guys. And I am in good time. I don't want to just put the video out there because I want to have some fun with it. I want to give it a little bit of justice because I have been kind of slacking when it comes to videos and editing and things like that. So today I'm just going to kind of share with you a video I've had backlog for a bit and I wasn't actually 100% sure I was going to share it and that is because like the title says the scariest thing that's ever happened to me and it's something that happened about three months ago September right around that time where everything started going wrong in a sense uh, just to kind of give you a bit more of a backstory because I don't really always put out the bad side when it comes to my training just because I don't want to be a negative Nancy. Like I have shared with you injuries, etc. But around this time, it's when I started feeling a little bit of that kind of CNS fatigue. Um, and everything wasn't really going well. Now, it wasn't something that I was really considering at the time, uh, just because, let's be honest, I have a bit of an ego. I'm pretty stubborn. I don't like to admit failure. And it's something that I can look back now upon because it is something to definitely be proud of to overcome in a sense just because it did shake me up for a bit and I'm kind of glad uh, Edgar was there and the situation went as well as it did because considering how often I get injured this could have been extremely wrong so to kind of just fast track to the actual video uh, this is a bench day for me. I'm supposed to hit just like a heavy double, I believe, of 230. Now, this is something I have done before, so it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. Uh, I was just prepped, ready to go. I warmed up like I always do. I thought fresh. Edgar gave me a lift off, and then this happened. As you can see, the lift didn't really go that well. Uh, so I know the angle isn't the best, but to kind of give you the full detail, uh, as I went to drive, everything quit. I, at the time, I'm like, oh, it must have been my wrist. Nope, everything quit. I literally went to drive and then I had no tightness. My arms dropped down, bar hit me in the sternum, and then went right to my neck. Uh, luckily, Edgar was there, so for anybody who's all like, oh, well, why did he grab the weight right away? Well, like I said, this is something that I've done before and we didn't really expect, but as soon as that bar went towards my throat, he had it and he threw it up as quickly as he could. So luckily, considering how often I do get injured, this went extremely well because this could have been something that I might have not been able to come back from so easily. So I'm super happy that it went as well as it did. And the positive part of this bad video, why I'm kind of wanting to share it is the fact that right now everything is going extremely well. And the fact that I'm able to overcome that situation and get rid of the anxiety and the fear of potentially hurting myself again to get to where I am today where I'm feeling comfortable under the bar once again is something that should be recognized and the reason why it should be recognized is because we all go through bad stuff whether you go to do a deadlift and you pull your shit or you drop the bar or anything like that you're always going to be like man like i don't want that to happen again and and the reality is you control your destiny so if you truly are passionate about 
what you're doing, whether it's lifting or anything in life, failure isn't really failure, no matter how bad it is. You hear those miracle stories about people who are crippled, but manage to walk. And that's just because they don't accept failure. It's just another roadblock in the journey of life. Uh, but that's kind of the message I want to give to you guys because we're not always going to be perfect. I might always talk about and joke how I get injured, but there is a lot more people out there who go through the exact same thing I do. It's just I'm uh, more of an open book, let's say. But guys, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you do, drop me a comment down below because I would definitely love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, hit that like, share, and subscribe to spread that love because honestly, that helps the channel so much more than you can ever imagine. But guys, like I said, that's the video. So I will see you next time.